Hello everyone and welcome back to The Beard in the Mirror is not to be feared because that's a beard and it is not weird. So I think that it's a beardy beard and I'm gonna dance. No, I'm actually gonna use this nickel on the gumball machine. The quarter should do the trick. Oh, it's a quarter. Yay! Hey, check that out! And here I thought it, I was all out of my biodegradable, extra-long-tasting, vegetable-flavored gumballs. Of course, I still don't have the knife, but now my breath can taste great. That was sarcasm. Wait, what? Your knife is still in here, Paul? But I, I, what? But that was my only quarter. How are we going to... No, no. Okay, got it. Fish. That wouldn't fit in the coin slot. Oh, no. I should get more soda. Okay, let's do that. Let's grab more soda. Just in case I get thirsty. I'll take another one. Oh, sweet. Just one more. I think the three cans of spasm I have in my pockets are enough. I don't need to carry any more. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. How are we going to solve this puzzle? Um, What is this, by the way? It's my 10th grade art project. Impression of my hand in clay. These are some letters from my mother. Dear son, when will you ever come home again? I hope you enjoyed your 22nd birthday. Did you get the artichokes I sent you? I know how much you love artichokes. It's your job at the newspaper going well. I know you don't really enjoy it, but if you just keep applying yourself, I'm sure you'll figure out what you want to do someday. I miss you. Your father does too, even if he never says it. Write me back when you get the chance. Love, Mom. P.S. When you do come home, be sure to bring a lovely lady friend with you. That's one, that one is from a couple of months ago. I guess I should write back at some point. But I don't even like artichokes. Paul, you're a horrible person. It's a note Lily left. It said, Paul, take this map, L. Sunglasses. It's the purple stone Artie gave me. Okay, I am not sure how I'm going to solve this puzzle, everyone. Does anybody have any ideas? Should I maybe use... Should I maybe... Maybe, maybe use the hint helpline. That wouldn't fit in the coin slot. This game has a hint helpline, right? Need help? Tweet at Beard Hints for spoiler free tips. Hmm. What's this game system? Video games. Playing them is like going on an adventure. You're on an adventure, Paul. Mostly RPGs and adventure games. With a sticky, roll a sticky ball around the world and pick up things game. Was that Super Monkey Balls that he was referring to? Okay, let's use the soda. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go for the crowbar. I, I really need that knife. The broken glass would smash my crowbar. Oh, come on, Paul. Okay, let's see. Hmm, can't get it out with my bare hands. You should give the Guardian more soda. Okay, is that it? I need to give that guy soda? Okay. And you can press the escape button to skip animation. Okay, Artie. It's an old man tossing a stone. Hi there. What do you want? Oh. I guess I have to offer him the soda. Okay, okay, hold on. Uh, soda? Here we go. How about a drink? Thanks, I'm parched. I have no idea how this is going to help me get get something out of my, uh, my, my gumball machine. Yes, that's the ticket. More! <laughs> There's more, I say. How about a drink? Thanks, I'm parched. If he dies from thirst, we could get more rocks, though. What? <laughs> Well, I'm glad people are here. Ah! What? Whoa, cool. Oh, he has to go to the bathroom, and so we got rid of him by getting him soda. Wow. Okay, so yeah, let's go into his room and see what he's got there. Thank you, thank you, studio audience. I'm live streaming to a crowd of about 33 people. Uh-oh. Paul, you messed up, bro. That cloth won't be keeping me out of here anymore. Can I take it? I really don't think I want it. I think it might be a death sequence here. 
Um, so I'm going to save my game. I think it's a death sequence if I try to take the rocks. I already won't notice if I take one of his rocks. ROCKS MINE! Oh no! But of course, Paul didn't really try to disturb that man's stones. Here's what really happened. Nothing. Nothing happened. Oh, it's his poker room. I wonder if there's anything I can take. I want to take everything. That's too high to reach, and I already wouldn't like it. Here's a chip that's on the ground. Hey, I bet I use this on the, uh, yeah, it's like, it's sort of like a nickel, a quarter, so that'll work. I like this music. Ooh, is there something else I can take from the wall? Can't I, like, grab something from a wall at one point? Ouch! Good lord, frickin' spiky, pointy, sharp, grr, mumble, mumble. I'll just leave the thorns where they are, thanks. Come on, Paul, take those thorns. You know you want to. What a burst of energy that was. Oh, he didn't leave to go to the bathroom. He was just super, super caffeinated, and that's why he ran away. I don't suppose you know anything about my doorway being on the floor. Some guy ran in here and tore it down. I couldn't stop him. Young rascal. Anyway. Let's slowly leave. Okay, so now we're going to use this poker chip. Poker chip looks about the right size. Mal will be crazy if this actually works. Yes, I have the pocket knife now. Okay, let's grab some more soda. I'll take another one. Let's see. Everything's still attached? No. Okay, the game bladder is clicking on Paul, not the soda. So, is it a death sequence if Paul drinks the soda still? I think that might be a death sequence. Wow, that sure is powerful stuff. Yahoo! Oh, I thought that would be a silly death sequence. Drank too much soda and he died. Paul says he drew the animation of him drinking the soda. Paul drew that. Yes. Okay, let's watch that animation one more time. You know, I read on the internet that drinking more than three cans of spasm in a short period of time causes health problems. Should I drink it? No, bad idea. I don't want him to die. I don't want him to die. I wonder if they get the internet in here. Anyway, I got the knife so I can cut out creepy vine. See, it's moving. and It's creepily waving at me. Okay. Let's use the knife. I got my grandfather's park it, park it knife. Yeah, we park it in the, in the parking lot. Do you think I could cut you with that? I hope so. It's worth a try. Well, here it goes. Try to be gentle, Paul. Mm. Are you okay? Yes, thank you. Yay! Okay, so Paul is definitely saying... Paul is in the studio audience, not Paul the character. But Paul is definitely saying we should drink soda. Let's drink more soda. We do want to see this animation... Awesome. I love Spasm. That's some amazing animation, actually. That's way better than I could do. Whoa. What? No. No. Oh! 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 No, no, no. Okay, so clearly I don't need to save before death scenes because the game auto-saves for me. So, oh, is this moving? This is fun. It is. Let me know if... Faster, faster! Ooh, I love moving with you. Whee! <laughs> yeah, that's not creepy. Artie's gone. Hmm. Let's play with his rocks while he's gone. No! 
death sequence. Let's give the magical stone back. Artie? Oh. I guess we can't give that stone back. He said I couldn't leave the forest without it, though. Huh. Okay, Karg, I think his name was. Here's a vine. That's why they call it Soda Pop. I'm surprised Spasm hasn't been banned for health reasons. Well, they don't sell Spasm in Oregon, I can tell you that. Hi, Karg. I've got someone who'd like to talk to you. Ooh. Yes, now I can get to the castle. Thanks so much, little Vine. It's my pleasure, Paul. What'd you say to get him to move? Well, you know, this and that. Vine has to keep some secrets. Well, in any case, I owe you one. I know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Spasm is probably based on the soda called Surge, and they do not sell Surge in, in, in Oregon anymore. They used to sell it in Oregon, but not anymore. So now I can't have any Surge, and it's just sad. What is this game? Hi, new person who just joined the chat. This is The Beard in the Mirror, and I am getting to the castle. Okay, Paul's confirming that's supposed to be Surge. I just had a sudden rush of foreboding. <laughs> now Kark has a beard. <laughs> no sense in worrying too much. The stream looks fun, and I'm sure it's completely harmless. Whoa. Oh no, I just realized this is a puzzle. I'm handsome! <laughs> what? Paul, aren't we supposed to move? Yeah, what? Well, hang on, give me another minute. Okay, so Paul is definitely pulling a Narcissus here. He spends days checking out his it, it reflection. Yeah, I'll get out of the stream as soon as I memorize the curve of my biceps. Are you okay, Paul? Your pulse seems faint. Oh, wow. Also amazing animation. <laughs> but of course, Paul knew from his childhood that there was something dangerous about crossing streams. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Okay, so what we actually need to do is put those glasses on Paul so he can actually get past the stream. Yeah, he can't see a thing with them on. All right, here we go. Yay! <laughs> that was simple. I have a strange feeling you just avoided a great danger. Yeah, so I'm getting, I'm getting um to the point of the game where I actually haven't played. I did play this game, uh, a demo version of this game many, many years ago when it was not, you know, when they didn't have the final title of the game figured out. Basically, we got to the castle and that's where the game ended. So I, I remember that, uh, that puzzle. So we have, Paul, why do you need to get to the castle exactly? Well, Lily told me to, I don't really know why. She must be important to you. I, I don't really know her either. So what are we doing here? There's a whole lot of things I don't know, Little Vine. I don't know how to drive stick shift. I don't know what an IRA is. I don't even know what I want to be when I grow up. I'm leaving the forest now. It feels like I'm leaving behind something behind. Like my bedroom's back there and I don't know. But I do know or I feel somehow I just need to talk to that girl again. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, your mom did say you need to bring a lovely girl home with you, so she fits the bill. I'd love to join you on this adventure. I like having you to talk to, little vine. It's gonna get really lonely when I have to give Artie his magical purple stone back. Oh crap, I need to give the stone back to Army. Artie, maybe you'll forget you have it? I don't think he's gonna forget that stuff. Maybe there's a way I can avoid giving it back to him, though. So let's see. Is there a way to avoid giving that stone back to Artie? Maybe there is. I don't know. In any case, like I said, I, I played the original uh, like version of the game, and uh, those death scenes were there. I mean, those death scenes were all death scenes. Like you had to save and reload. So, so those those little death scene um, jokes were not not in the, not <laughs> not in the test version. 
Okay, so if, if my memory recalls, Artie is going to show up here and cause problems. Oh, here's a tree. Why have we stopped, Paul? I'm not sure. My feet aren't moving. Like, they're stuck. So, Paul! Beep! Do you remember the two warnings I gave you about using my stone? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. And yet you here are all to the forest. Yeah, about that. You neglected one of my warnings! I trusted you with one of my precious stones and you didn't return it to me. Now I must exact revenge. Hey, now, I went to your cave earlier and you weren't even there. Mr. I never leave the forest. I've had enough of your impudence. Give me my stone! Okay, what if I gave him soda instead? I'm giving him soda. You like soda, right? Will you accept this instead? Makes aggravated noises. Okay, okay, hold on. Maybe you should just give him what he wants. But I don't want to lose you, little vine. I'll still be here with you, Paul. Just... Okay, let's give him a gumball. Will you accept this instead? Somebody says run away. Okay, I don't think... Do I have the ability to run away? Oh, the game took away my ability to run away. Wow. Let's give him the fish. <laughs> this is so sad. We have to get rid of the vine. Um, maybe that's the puzzle getting rid of the vine. Okay, here we go. Little Vine, do you think you could convince him to let us pass? He can't understand me, but you talk to Karg. Karg is easier. I'm sorry, Paul. Stop talking to yourself and give me my stone! Oh. Oh, okay. He wants the stone, not the... Okay, here's the stone. All right, old man. Here you go. You win. Goodbye, Little Vine. I'm not leaving you. She's totally leaving me. Man, I feel lonely already. Caresses Paul sadly. Well, I guess we must press on. Mm, let's grab some fruit. Oh, what about this? I bet you could cook eggs on that rock. Okay, so let's go to the castle. Oh, is that a guard? I bet that's a guard. Hang on. Aren't you going to say halt or you cannot pass or something like that? Wasn't planning on it. But that can't be right. I need to get into the castle. You're guarding the castle and you're just gonna let me go? Yes? Well, that makes things so easy. Thanks. Festive banners. They have bushes here in this world too. Awesome! It's Lily! Guys, it's Lily! I recognize her by her beard. <laughs> Sorry. Lily, I finally found you. Oh, Paul, I'm so glad you made it here. Okay, there is definitely a way to keep the vine in your party, and you get all s sorts of bonus vine dialogue. Well, I'm not good at solving puzzles. I'm glad you made it here. You have no idea how worried I was. Are you behind the stall? I'm selling fishes. Wow, I didn't know you were a merchant. But you... Never mind, I hope you don't think less of me. Of course not. So you're a fishmonger? Yes, I guess I am. Cool, I've never known a monger before. Is this a festival? Yes, it is. The day every year the people of the kingdom gather together to celebrate their freedom. Okay, so it's also a prime market day. I bet you'll be able to make a fortune. That's the hope. Why did I have to go through the forest to get here? Why can't you just open up the door somewhere around here or on the other side of the stream? Heh <laughs> heh. I apologize for that, Paul. I didn't want to risk opening a door where other people might find it. Thurston found it, though. Yeah, I hadn't accounted for that. He must have been on the lookout after our confrontation earlier. Yeah, wait, what? It's not important. Okay, we had a confrontation with this guy and he tried to kill us, but that's totally not important. So why couldn't you teleport me here afterwards? I, that is... My teleportation necklace only works on me, not you. It's, it's a girl's only teleportation necklace. Did you remember anything about before? No, I don't remember anything. Oh, okay. I run him here, now what do we do? I must take you to see my mentor, Herkimer. He's the one who will help you complete your quest. Why do I need him? Can't you help me instead? I don't even know what my quest is. Wow, Paul, you're kind of a whiner here, complaining. I would be complaining a lot more, though, so whatever. 
I believe he wants to teach you something, but I don't know what. I'm not advancing my studies to fully aid you, although I wish it were not so. The answers will come in good time. I trust Herkimer to Herka help. Come on, let's get going. Paul, it's vital that you meet with Herkimer, but I need to be here while business is good. You can see all the people that are buying her fish? Yeah. Herkimer's inside the castle, but you won't find him without me, as the way to him is secret. When will you leave? I don't know. I'm sorry, Paul. I don't have a choice. It's alright. I'll just wander around for a while. You could always explore the rest of the festival. The castle's open to visitors, although the prince lives in the castle and he's out to kill you, so yeah. I'll be back soon, Lily. I'll be here, Paul. Whoa, the screen moves when I move? This is amazing. It's a street show. And I said to him, hey, slow down. Where's the friar? Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, yeah, she liked that one, didn't you? Francis, did you like the joke? Why don't you show the audience your dance, Francis? Oh, Francis, ha, 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 ha. It looks like he's trapped in a glass box again. Boo! And now for my big trick. You may have seen other ventriloquists frightened by trying to perform while drinking a glass of water. In fact, I guarantee you, you've never seen this before. Ladies and gentlemen, watch closely. Thank you! That was horrible! Get off the stage! So that is a very, very bad ventriloquist, and nobody likes him. It's a cobbler. Cobble, 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 cobble. Aw, crates and barrels in the wild. I've only ever seen them in video games. I wonder what this stand is. Well, I guess it's not a stand for us to check out. Those windows are too high. Very festive. Okay, so let's talk to everyone. Why not? Hello. Why, hello, sir. I'm Amazing Anthony, and this is Francis. I'm Paul. Nice to meet you. Could you stop moving Francis around while we're talking? You wouldn't ask me to give up my craft. The performer must practice. He must stay in character all time. My livelihood depends on it. Okay, it just looks kind of creepy. So, Anthony, I cut the end of your show. Amazing. Excuse me? It's amazing, Anthony. Oh, right. Well, as I was saying, I cut the last bit of your show there. It's interesting. I'm sure you thought it was wonderful. Well, the best show you've ever seen, even? I mean, I don't think I would put it quite that way. I see. Well, nobody else likes it either. I wish I could figure out why. What is it that you do? Well, I thought that was obvious. I'm a ventriloquist. Yeah, I thought you heard you say that during the show. But it seems your dummy is, doesn't ever say anything. That's because he's a mime! Ah, yes, of course. Why is it that people don't like your show? I don't know. All I can think is my performances must be lacking in something. Something that the audience needs. Could it be the fact that your ventriloquist dummy doesn't say anything ever? Absolutely not! That is the most original performing concept you'll ever see. It's brilliant, I tell you. What could I be missing? Thanks. Aha! I've got it! What does every show need to keep people interested? Scantily clad women? Paul! Paul! Get your mind out of the gutter. It is mandatory audience participation. Oh. Mandatory audience participation from scantily clad women? No, Paul! Jeez! Ugh, that's exactly what the show lacks. So about participation? Yeah, that's a dilemma. I've already thought of a perfect act for an audience member. And you, well, you might seem to be like the guy who understands this. Enthusiasm among my audience members has been lacking. Paul is blaming his wife. She says his wife wrote that. Yeah, um... Hmm. The levels of enthusiasm among my audience members have been somewhat lacking. Quite frankly, I'm a little worried no one will want to raise their hand to participate at the crucial moment. And that would be an absolute disaster. I suppose that is a valid concern. Well, if you'd like, I could stand in the audience and volunteer my... No! A plant in my audience? No way! No, what I really need is solid proof the audience will like my involvement. And I'll never get that. What if I brought you proof you have a willing audience? I will do well. Oh, sir, if you could do that, I'd be eternally grateful. Yes, that's the very thing. Take this petition I just happen to have made up. He made a petition. If you can bring it back with three signatures, the show will be on. Go forth, young man. This is clearly a puzzle. That sounds like a puzzle to me. Yeah, that sounds like a puzzle. So we need to get three people to agree that they want to see this guy. We assert that they are engaging and enjoyable. 
that if the above mentioned artists were to incorporate an element of audience participation in the show, we'd be more than happy. So let's talk to the cobbler. Get your shoes here. So you sell shoes. I don't sell them. I make them. Best shoes in the kingdom. Finest craftsmanship. Strongest leather. You won't find a better shoe. You look like you need shoes. I already have shoes. Not my shoes. See shoes right here? Perfect for you. 100 gold for the pair. I don't have that kind of money. My shoes aren't good enough. No, I'm sure they're wonderful. That's it. You won't find a better shoe. Finest work you've ever seen. These shoes and free bottle. My extra bright shoe polish. 95 gold. Really, I don't have any money and I don't want any shoes. You bargain expertly, I see. 93 gold a month selling for the shoes and durable seal all. Sir, I'm not interested. Okay, the shoes and an extra bright green shoelace. 91 gold. Never have I met a skilled haggler. My funnel officer. The shoes, a pouch of clay, and a small leather thong. Absolutely nothing. What? Okay. Wow. I got shoes. Finer shoes you'll ever see. Come back to buy shoes. Wow, that was amazing. So we got we got all these things from that guy. Did you sign the petition, sir? Might sign this petition. What's it for? Well, it's for amazing Anthony. Me? Support him? Never. He's awful. He can starve for all I care. All right. Okay. Buy my shoes. Can I go in this corner? I can. Wow, it's a corner. That old man is sleeping very loudly. That look on the woman's face could scare the glaze off a crowbar. It's a little boy and he's drawing in the dirt. I think I know this puzzle. What if I put the petition in the dirt? So the little boy will sign it. Hi, little boy. Leave my son alone. Excuse me, what is it? Will you sign this petition? No, no, no. You interrupted my shopping for that. Shame on you. That man is horrible. I'm sorry I disturbed you. Okay, let's give it to the sleeping man. Excuse me, sir. <gasps> what is it? Will you sign this petition for me? Not to do it. I'm not signing nothing. Readings for teacups. I never learned how to read. <laughs> okay. Oh wow! I just I just surprised Paul with the uh, the signing puzzle. That was in the uh, demo version of the game, though, wasn't it? The one that I played. I could have sworn that puzzle was in the the original test game test version of the game. So that's how I remember it. I bet Lily will sign my petition, though. I promise I'd get people to sign it. This show is awful. He's trying to make it better. Would you sign? That's not honest, but if it's for the best, I'll sign it. Do you have something to write with? No, I don't. Wait, I always carry a pen with me. I totally forgot. Thanks, Paul. I hope this helps you. So yeah, that's totally... So now that we've gotten a pen... Oh yeah, I just happen to have a pen here. I, I just forgot. I always have a pen with me. So let's see. I think... Give the pen to the boy. Can I use the pen on the... Uh... On the petition? Aww. Aw, oh, come on, Paul. I know that's the puzzle. Uh, I, oh, come on. I need to talk to his mom first. Okay, we'll try that. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm Paul. What's your name? You must not be a nobleman. Yeah, I'm new here. Foreigner, how quaint. I'm Mrs. Whittle, and this is Toddy. So what's he doing? He's practicing his signature. Ah, yeah, see, he's definitely signaturing. Toddy has a gift beyond his years. You'd better leave him alone. I don't want him distracted. Has he always wanted to be a playwright? No, he wanted to be a sculptor, then a makeup artist. He likes so many jobs. All right, so now we can probably use the pen here. Do-do-do-do-do. Swap. 
Wow, he didn't even notice. I thought I could make a career out of stealing things from small children. You should not, Paul. Hmm. Yay, check that out. Another signature. Oh, boy. We're coming to, like, the end of the, the, the test version of the game that I played, though. So, um, I'm probably going to get super stuck after that. Huh. Well, I guess there's nobody else I can get a signature from, so let's go inside. You've crossed the line this time, boy. Loitering inside the castle at all hours is one thing, but assaulting the captain of the guards is a serious offense. You're glaring at me. Glaring? It's my duty to keep a watchful eye on miscreants as yourself. I believe your actions have shown why such precautions are necessary. Yeah, whatever. As punishment for your crime, boy, I'll be confiscating your weapon. Give me that slingshot. You're lucky this is the worst thing I'm going to do. I hate my life. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to end the video here. In the next video, we'll continue through the castle and maybe get the signature of that angry young man.